I'm Dr. Andrew Krause, ND, Senior Medical Advisor for Fullscript, and today we're going to be talking about our newest feature, Product Swap. As we continue to develop the platform, we're going to start doing webinars whenever we have a significant feature release to help keep our practitioners informed and to give you an opportunity to ask questions and give any feedback. This way, you'll also have a resource you can check for reinforcement in the future if you want to learn more about the feature. We're going to open up the floor to questions at the end of the webinar as well. And so if you have any questions, let us know by commenting below on this YouTube video or sending us a message on Facebook. After the webinar, you can always contact us via live chat on our website or send us an email at support at fullscript.com. So first off, why did we build this? We've been getting some consistent feedback from practitioners that have asked for this feature and they wanted a tool that would help them change products in multiple prescriptions more easily. When we hear the same request multiple times like this, we do our best to prioritize building it into the platform. And so overall, practitioners wanted an easier switching process, but they also wanted a batch switching process. So a process where they could change multiple prescriptions at the same time, swapping out products. So why would you want to swap products? When speaking with practitioners about this tool, there were five different reasons that they wanted to swap a product. First one being when research changes so they could stay up to date and their prescriptions were up to date as well. When there's industry changes in the natural health product or supplement industry. When a product was reformulated, when a product is discontinued, or when a product is back ordered, let's say a product is not going to be able to be back in stock for several months, and then being able to swap a product in the meantime before it actually gets back in stock can help to improve adherence with your patients. So how does the product swap tool help? Overall, it saves time editing prescriptions. Rather than having to do them manually one at a time, you can do them all at once. You're able to reduce questions from patients as well, because if you have an alternative already set, if you know a product is going to be unavailable, there'll be lots of requests directly to you about which product they should take as an alternative. And overall, those both can optimize adherence because the patients will have an alternative already instead of potentially discontinuing a plan if they can't find the product they're looking for. So we're going to be going through a few swapping scenarios. The batch swap scenario, so the one where you can do multiple at a time, we'll do a demonstration of an available product for an available product. Uh, in this scenario, we'll be showing a reformulated in a product. And then an unavailable product for an available product. So a, si a situation where a product has been discontinued and we're going to be swapping it for a product that is now available. And I'll also give a quick explanation of how to do a single swap and how to edit a prescription. So now I'll show you a demonstration. For a lot of you that have used the platform before, uh, this is a, a view into the home page of, of, the, uh, of the catalog. So let's go through how the product swap feature works. Uh, we'll demonstrate two scenarios here, swapping an available product for another available product in all prescriptions, and swapping an unavailable product for an available product in all prescriptions. For an available swap, the situation is you found a product that you like better than what you're using, or there's been a reformulation. For this example, we'll show you a reformulation. So we're on the sign in page and we click on catalog. From the catalog, I'll search for the exact product that I know has been reformulated. In this case, we'll use a product named Thyrosol. You'll see two products come up, one that is discontinued, which is the older product, and then the new product, the reformulated product, that we want to switch to. And so we click on Thyrosol, and then in related prescriptions, you'll be able to see all the prescriptions that contain this product. So we'll swap this product in all related prescriptions to be able to get the new product in the prescriptions instead of the original one. So in this case, if there is a similar product curated for the one you're trying to switch away from, it'll automatically bring you to the similar products list so you can more easily make the switch. If you want to learn about this product itself, then you can click on thyrosol capsules to read the ingredients. In this case, we know it's from the same company and it's been reformulated accordingly and we're comfortable with the reformulation. So we click swap with thyrosol. The automatic standard is that um, this box is checked and so there'll be an email notification sent to patients that are impacted by the swap. Um, the email looks like this. So it's a very simple explanation of the fact that there's been a swap in one of the prescriptions and it also gives the contact link so a patient if they have any questions can contact support at fullscript.com for any clarification. 
If we're ready to make the swap, then all we have to do is click swap these products. And it's easy, easy as that. If you want to continue swapping products, you can click swap another product. And if for some reason you want to renege the swap that you just made, you can click made a mistake and that will unswap it in the prescriptions and bring it back to normal. The next situation that we'll go through is the unavailable swap. So this is a product that you used to use that is no longer available on Fullscript. So in this case, we'll go to the catalog and there's a new tab up here named the adherence tab. So this is where you'll find a list of the products that need a swap because they're no longer available. So in this case, you can see that the strawberry flavor of Arctic cod liver oil is no longer available on Fullscript because it's in the swap needed column. And there's already been three products that are curated as similar products. If you want to see more about these products, all you have to do is click on Arctic cod liver oil and you're able to compare it against the original product. If you check the ingredients and you're comfortable with the switch, then you can go back to the original page and then click swap this product. Same thing as before, you'll be able to see how many prescriptions and how many patients this impacts, and you'll be able to send an email notification to patients impacted by this swap. When you're ready to go, all you need to do is click swap these products like before, and the products have been swapped. And again, just like before, you can unswap it if you decide that you'd like to move it back to how it was before, or you can continue, continue swapping other products by clicking swap another product right here. The last scenario is that if you want to make a single prescription swap, uh, the best place to do that is to actually find your patient name and then actually go into their prescription by viewing the prescription and then from there you can edit the prescription And whether it's changing a product overtly or whether it's changing the dose of a product, it's really your choice, but you can do it on a one-off basis right here. Thanks so much for taking the time to learn about our new feature today. As mentioned, if you have any additional questions or feedback, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Uh, we have received some questions over the course of this webinar, and so we'll start answering those right now. Hi everybody, my name is Tyler Oakman and I am a practitioner account manager here at Fullscript. So I'm going to be doing uh, the Q&A session here um, after the demonstration portion of the video that you just watched from Dr. Krause. So thank you so much, Dr. Krause. Um, and uh, we'll get started on those questions just as soon as we uh, see a couple more rolling in. Um, we do have a couple here um, right off the top that I'll, I'll start with. And if you want to, to post your comments, go ahead. Um, the first one is from uh, Susan, um, she said she missed the beginning of the webinar um, and she wanted to know why, why our team built this tool. So the main reason our team built this tool was because of uh, direct feedback from practitioners that we got. So uh, we wanted to uh, really make it easy for practitioners to make these types of switches because of, of all the situations that, that Dr. Krause outlined. You know, sometimes products will um, be discontinued by the manufacturer or sometimes there'll be a reformulation and there was no easy way for practitioners to go in and make that switch before now. So we're really happy about um, this tool and, and how it's shaped up to, to help practitioners. And um, another quick point is we're always looking to make these these functional changes to the platform to help um, you as practitioners use the platform in um, more convenient ways or easier ways. So um, you can always just send us an email to support at fullscript.com and make your voice heard and we'd be happy to um, pass along your, your feedback. So another question we have here um, from Dr. P is um, how do you decide what is suitable for a replacement? So uh, in Dr. Krause's demonstration, you notice that there are some similar products that are suggested um, and it does give you the option to manually find products too, but these similar products are actually curated by our integrative medical advisory team, which is composed of some, uh, some practitioners who are uh, very knowledgeable about the supplement industry and can, can um, you know, reliably go through and, and read the ingredient lists and compare them and, and choose brands with you know, similar quality standards too. So those are, those are how the products or that's how the products are picked, essentially. So we have a question in from Rick, actually. And Rick's question is, is there an integration with uh, Power to Practice or P2P? So um, we do, Fullscript does have an integration with Power to Practice. Um, this product switching tool will not be on the integration right away, but there is potential for it to move uh, forward with that as, as we continue to develop that integration. Right now, the, the swaps will have to happen through the Fullscript platform, but um, we'll, we'll make it as easy as possible to do that through the Fullscript platform. 
Thanks for your question, Rick. Um, question here from Matt. Um, how is this different than the similar products tool? So the similar products tool was sort of more of a, a one uh, product at a time scenario, whereas this is a, a mass a tool that can make mass changes across the, the prescription. So uh, the similar products tool might have been great just to suggest that product, but the practitioners would still have to go through and make those individual changes to each uh, and every prescription. And this tool gets around that and makes it much more accessible and, and easy for them to make those changes. Um, question from Emily here. Um, why would a product be unavailable on full scripts? So we talked about a couple scenarios. Um, obviously we want to maintain the stock as much as we can on full script and we actively uh, do everything we can to avoid them. But you know there are uh, situations where there might be back orders um, or there, there's also, you know, uh, like Dr. Krause mentioned, there can be um, changes to formulations where practitioners may no longer um, want to recommend that product because there's an additional ingredient or um, you know, so maybe allergens were introduced and um, so there's certain situations like that where um, as much as we'd love to continue uh, carrying a product we're not able to or a practitioner might want to um, discontinue use of a product because of their personal choices. So uh, another question from uh, Rick that's great. Um, can we see a list of patients affected prior to swapping? And the answer is yes. So. Um, Next to, um, when, you're, when you're bringing up a product in the catalog, um, there will be a tab that says um, related prescriptions, I believe, or, or um, products in related prescriptions. So you can uh, click on that tab there and that will outline all of the prescriptions with the patient names there uh, for the affected patients before you actually make the swap. Oh, a good question here. Uh, can my patient swap a product? So it depends a little bit on how you have your catalog access, so not by default. Um, they can't pick uh, a new product um, right away, uh, right? So basically the practitioner is the one who should be making the swaps and, and that's the way it's reflected on the platform. Um, you know, uh, especially if you have your catalog sort of restricted, um, you'll, you'll need to make that swap so the patient has access to the new product if it's outside of your favorites and, and things like that, so yeah. So the, the, the short answer is no, a patient cannot solve a product. Um, that's on the practitioner to do. Okay, so we have a question here. Can I choose not to send my patient a notice if I see them in the clinic? And absolutely, you, uh, you don't have to send them an email notification when you're making the swap. That little checkbox is there for you to uh, unselect if you don't want to send them the, the email notification. Uh, and then obviously you can give them the verbal direction in the office that you'll be making the swap and, and for them to log into Fullscript to uh, make their next purchase whenever they're ready. Okay, so we have a question here from Dr. R. Uh, so who can my patient contact um, if a switch needs to be made? So um, our customer support team is always here to, to field those questions, but we'll likely direct the patient back to the practitioner as, as the best person to advise. Um, you know, the practitioner is the one who has the, the full history of their medical treatment plan and, um, and, and their medications and things like that. So our customer support team never makes these overt sort of medical um, recommendations, we always divert back to the practitioner for that, so our support team will, um, will, will no, let the patient know to reach out to their practitioner as, as the best option for them. Okay, so um, we're, we're uh, at the end of our time here for today. I wanted to remind anybody who's on the video, you can still send us your questions if you think of something after the fact. Um, our, our email is support, S-U-P-P-O-R-T, at fullscript.com, and we'd be happy to help you there. Um, I wanted to say thank you again to Dr. Krause, and um, I just wanted to say thank, thank you, everyone, for your time, um, and thank you for your, your great questions. Uh, we really appreciate it, and we really hope this tool is um, valuable to you um, as we move forward with Fullscript. Thank you.